the biggest renewable energy project ever built in the world by a huge margin is about to be built in Australia. What is truly remarkable about this project is it actually will have enough power to power every single home and business all across the entire country. Now it won't be used for that purpose, but the staggering numbers behind this project are truly, truly remarkable. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you can support us on Patreon, that would be very much appreciated. I'll put a link in the description below. A groundbreaking renewable energy initiative, the Western Green Energy Hub, will be built in the southeast of Western Australia. Western Australia is sort of a similar size to Texas. It's absolutely massive. This will be the largest renewable energy project ever completed in the history of mankind by a significant margin. Spearheaded by developers Intercontinental Energy and CWP Global, the project's recent filings propose an expansion from 50 gigawatts to a staggering 70 gigawatt capacity. Essentially, this renewable energy project has enough power for all of Australia. Now, it's in Western Australia, so they won't be sending all that power from Western Australia to the east coast of Australia, unfortunately, but this project will generate over 200 terawatt hours of clean energy annually, approaching Australia's total power generation of 274 terawatt hours. So the entire country consumes 274 terawatt hours per year. This one project alone will be able to produce 200 terawatt hours per year. Once completed, the project could produce more electricity than the entire power fleets of several mid-sized nations combined. Spanning approximately 22,700 kilometers of coastal desert, the area designated for the project exceeds the size of countries like Slovenia and El Salvador. Plans include the installation of up to 3,000 wind turbines with capacities ranging between seven megawatts and 20 megawatts each. This surpasses the current largest 15 megawatt onshore wind turbine made by China's Saini. So essentially, because this project is gonna take years to complete, they're anticipating that new wind turbines will be bigger than today's 15 megawatt wind turbines. And the truth is that, yeah, this is real because the world's biggest wind turbine manufacturers have basically said that within a few years time, their wind turbines, which are already bigger than an entire football field, will be around 25% bigger. Additionally, the site will feature up to 60 million solar panels distributed across 35 solar farms. The ambitious scale of this project ensures a substantial boost in power generation, but it also supports the production of three and a half million tons of green hydrogen annually. Some people are saying, well, if Australia and many other countries around the world are gonna be producing millions and millions of tons of green hydrogen, well, wouldn't it make sense that we'd use it to power cars? We'd all be driving hydrogen powered cars around? Well, the answer is no, that's extremely unlikely. But obviously this project, the developers hope that that might happen. The hydrogen output is intended for both local and international markets with green ammonia slated as the primary export product to minimize environmental impact. The project aligns with both state and national objectives to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. And this is gonna help Western Australia be 100% renewable. That's gonna probably happen within the next five years. It is planned to unfold in seven developmental stages corresponding to market demand growth and will span several decades potentially, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. In collaboration with Mining Green Energy Limited, a subsidiary of the Mining Traditional Lands Aboriginal Corporation, the WGEH, as it's known, not only represents a leap forward in sustainable energy, but also in community and economic development. This project illustrates a huge shift towards enormous but efficient renewable energy models, which will redefine the world in many, many ways. They will transform the grid. There'll be no coal in Australia within the next 10 years. So what all this means is that this will be the biggest renewable energy project in the world by a significant margin. Personally, I was a little bit curious. I was thinking that's a lot of solar panels, right? That's 6 million solar panels. 
they must be installed on an enormous amount of land, and they are. They're installed over 2.3 million hectares of pastoral leases and crown lands. Now, the truth is, the majority of these lands are pretty barren and desert-like. So rather than having these lands just sitting there and basically doing nothing, we'll be using it to produce enormous amounts of power. It's actually going to stretch from hundreds of kilometers from the northwest of Eucla near the state border of South Australia, all the way over to Cocklebiddy and north of the Air Highway to south of the Trans-Australian Railway. One of the big things this project will do, aside from creating millions of tonnes of green hydrogen, is it will actually power many of the mines around that area. And those mines will be completely off-grid. They won't be using any power from any grid. And that's a trend the mining industry is, is kind of moving towards. That is having mines powered simply by their own local renewable energy projects, solar, wind and batteries. So they are completely off grid and don't use fossil fuels at all. One of the reasons for this is it's much cheaper. Plus, you don't need to run transmission lines to those mines. The future of renewable energy worldwide is remarkable and things are changing really, really fast. This project probably wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago. The costs would have been astronomical, but because of the declining cost of solar panels, batteries, and wind turbines, the world is changing at the most remarkable pace in a very, very positive way. Share this with your friends. Thanks for watching. In 2010, solar was four times more expensive than the levelized cost of fossil fuels. In other words, solar was just not really a viable alternative. But even back then, Tony Sieber predicted everything would change, and it did. In fact, it's changing even faster than what the most optimistic, and according to many of the so-called realists or experts, claim would happen. If you look at the transformation worldwide between 2010 and 2024, everything has changed in a remarkable way. To the point where now, solar has gone from being four times more expensive than fossil fuels to being much, much cheaper. Imagine where we'll be in 10 years from today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, guys, I just spoke at the Software Engineering Conference called SEAT in Melbourne, Victoria. And if you'd like me to come and speak to your organization, I would love to do so presenting them with some data, data showing the incredible transformation we're seeing right before our eyes. We're talking about the greatest disruption in the history of mankind. Everything is being disrupted. Energy is being disrupted at an historic pace. And I don't think people really realize what's going on because it is an exponential transformation. Solar's levelized cost has well, it's fallen so far that, that the International Renewable Energy Agency says that in 2010, solar was four times more as expensive as the lowest cost fossil fuels. However, now the levelized cost of solar electricity is 56% lower than the cost of fossil fuels. 